Hi, back again. Um, so this one, we've done Boots, which was the first one of the Our Favourite Four. Um, so we're now on to... Episode two. two. Uh, lotions and potions? Kind yeah. Of, a little bit? Yeah, it's lotions and potions, um, I Like think. grooming related things, yeah. if you want to call it that. Um, so... Shall I go first this time? Yes, you go first okay. this time. Um, so, first one of mine is the Tame the Mane from Smart Grooming. Detangler. Um, I think you've probably used quite a lot uh, of different mane and tails. Um, I think this is the only one that hasn't left it like sticky um, or greasy. It's all natural as well because I've got a couple of horses that are allergic to really random, strange things. Um, and so, probably going to see from this video, I use a lot of the stuff from the same brands because it's so much easier than going through ingredients lists and having them potentially have things that some of mine are allergic to. Um, so that's my first one. Uh, Tame the Mane from Smart Grooming. Uh, we were actually discussing, weren't we, that um, just before we did this, I was going to do a different main detangler that I use, yeah. and that's what I planned on using. And then I've just bought a new one of the exact same thing, same brand, and I think they've changed whatever's in it because yeah. it used to make the the main tail really, really silky and smooth, and it's gone to going all sticky. So I just had to do a quick substitution on mine, and I'm going to be trying out some of that as well. Um, I think we need to add that you are supported yeah. by Smart so Grooming, I'm a you? yeah so I'm a brand ambassador for a Smart Grooming so none of this stuff was um, gifted uh, I have bought it all and um, and they've not asked you to do this either have no, they it's, no this is off our own back yeah this is just one of those I really love all of the products um, and I certainly wouldn't bother using them if I didn't like them. Um, but a lot of the stuff that I use is is all smart grooming things. Yeah, so it's a good job you love it, really, <laughs> isn't it? Makes you better brand ambassador. First so, one for you. First one for me. I'm just trying to decide. I think I'm gonna go with a really basic one. Not horsey. It's from our good friend Aldi. Aldi. Sponsored. Come on, give me food, Aldi, please. <laughs> I love all the food. No, not sponsored at all. This is just their extra sensitive sun lotion, which I have two horses with really pink noses and they um, they burn really, really easily. And this is 50 plus. And I don't know if any of you with ponies that have pink noses notice, but when they're grazing, the sun lotion tends to wear off and then they get burnt later on in the day so if you're working all day or at school all day it's really hard but this one is really really thick it's waterproof let me show you how thick it is <laughs> it's um waterproof and it's meant to last about 24 hours and the other thing is it has the uva five stars which is i think that's a big deal like, on... yeah they have 50 but don't have the uva yeah at all, they're, it, don't they? they're like 50 plus and they're like two stars and according to the TV shows, uh, it makes a difference, I think, doesn't it? So I really like it. I use that. We used to um, use Sudocrem, actually, for, as a really good sunblock, but it's not FEI legal, so I don't use it because Flint doesn't compete BE, but Maggie does, so I don't use it because I don't want cross-contamination. So that is my first good old Aldi good old Aldi <laughs> doesn't cost too much because I go through a lot of it especially as they throw their heads around and it goes everywhere but no that's my first one cool um so my second one it's another smart grooming one um this is the leather looks um so we didn't say what you cleaned your tack with I use I have all Devaku tack and I use Devacu cleaner. the Devacu cleaner, but I also really like, is it Link, is Lincoln a brand? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I like the Lincoln Saddle Balm, and I also like the NAF, I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to find it out and add it in. They've got a Leather yeah. Lux. Is it Leather Lux? It's, it makes, Luxury. 
something, yeah. isn't it? it? It's that one. It makes the tack so shiny. I don't I don't tend to use it for the moisturising. I tend to use the Davaku balm or um, the Lincoln balm. But for making it shiny when I'm competing, I use that. But yours makes it really shiny, doesn't it? Yeah, it's... Um it's basically just a lot of this stuff's based from natural ingredients. So it's beeswax, um, essential oils and things. Does it smell nice? It smells really nice. Oh, that that is like having an aromatherapy massage. You should sit like that. It's like an uh, inhaler. That is so it nice. It smells so good. Um, but yeah, I have used um, One Horseman's as well, which is the one that looks... Um, it's quite good, just like white, yeah. yeah. But I just find that if you don't rub it in properly, you end up with white marks all over your tack. Um, whereas this literally leaves no marks, um, and you just pop it on with a sponge. Um, and they only brought this out this year, so up until this point, I was using the One Horseman's. Um, but yeah, it leaves like white residue all over your yeah. tack if I, you don't get it scrubbed like in properly. It. Yeah. Um, so no, that's that's a lot better. Yeah, I've, I've used that one and I, I find my hands get a bit sticky as well. Yeah, whereas Crap this hands. one actually, you don't, it's like, I think the only thing you can compare it to, it's like lip balm. Yeah, I was I was expecting that to like, you think it's But it's not sticky. In. No. It's not sticky. And she wipes it's it all <laughs> on me. Um, so, yeah. Like, yeah, non non-sticky. Oh, and also, it soaks in so well because... Um, if you forget to clean your tack when you're going out and you have to really quickly shove some Work tack cleaner on, on um, before you get on, you can get straight on it virtually. It's not soaks slide in so quickly, off. no. Um, and you're not going to get sticky stuff um, all over your breeches either. No. So. That's good because okay. I, I must admit, like the Devaku balm, I tend to put it on to like moisturise the tack and then just put the saddle away, and I don't use it when I'm going to compete yeah. because it does leave marks all over my breeches, which is quite hard work. Yeah, no, I really, yeah. really love that one. That's a definite. F I was waiting for a long time for them to bring a tack cleaner out, so no, it really glad so good got some. It does. It smells, it smells so really good. Smells so good. Nice. God. Okay. So my next one, I think I'm gonna do is a little bit of the Power Phaser gel. How much was it? Seventeen pounds fifty. It's not bad for a gel, though, is it? No, I've had it for a year. You use so little Look. as well. It's really Be cute. Happy. Be happy. Um, so what I do is I keep this in my truck. Oh, there we are. And it's in there for it's when like the quite flies. Gooey. Yeah, it's quite liquidy. So I just put like the sponge in a little shakes. wibble wobble wibble wobble. So jelly I've not got this cake. one, I've got the spray. Yeah, I like, I like the spray as well. Yeah, I do like the spray too. It smells really strong. Yeah, it smells disgusting. <laughs> I don't <laughs> mum hates the smell of it too. I don't mind the smell of it. Um but it's one of those that I tend to put on like by their ears between the back legs because I bought it last year at Pony Club Talent Pathway and the, it was at Solihull and the flies were really hideous awful. so we went into the tack shop and they had this and it, it did did just crack it so just before I got on I'd just go and wipe it over her give her a fly spray as well and it kept the horse flies away which just their helped. spray is literally one of the only things we've got a couple of venues yeah. near us um, that are really quite bad for horse flies and theirs is one of the only ones that keeps horse flies away. Yeah. That I've found anyway. Um, yeah, I like it. Any more suggestions? Yeah. Any comments? Yeah. What, what's your fly spray? Yeah. Go to, to keep, keep the fly spray away. That's so, your mum calling. There's my mum calling. Bye, mummy Bye, major. Mom. Bye, mummy major. <laughs> right, on to the next. Um, third one. Okay, so uh, this is literally one of my favourite things <laughs> ever. Um... I want to say this one's actually from Home Bargains. I think they're like so cheap, quid. Aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, we use this for so many things. So, aside from uh, around the mouths, um, any sore spots, um, lip balm when you forget any lip balm. Um, we put them round studs. Um, when you're putting studs away. Keep them from going rusty. Yeah, That's stop really them from good going idea. rusty. Um, 
Also, if you've got uh, some really tricky stud holes to screw them in, as long as you don't get it on the bit that you're holding because then you can't actually pick up a stud at all. <laughs> um, also four, so we've got uh, one horse that wears bar shoes and he's got pads and magic cushion, um, which is great, it does the job. However, when he first has them done and then he goes and lays down in his stable, um, the magic, because of how he lays like <laughs> that, so the magic cushion seeps out the back of the pads um, and ends up around his elbows, so we put like a, a big blob on each elbow um, which stops the magic cushion sticking to his elbows. You were saying you can't get it off otherwise? No, you, you have to wait so for sticky. it to harden. You can't brush it off because it sticks so much into the coat. Um, oh, and also for the little stallion that we've got around his nose to oh. stop smells. <laughs> he doesn't smell things that he doesn't need to be smelling. It's good that so, works because yeah. like Vix is really stinky. Really, yeah, it's horrible. It's too, well, too you think you don't even like putting it on your chest, so it's not fair to put it around the nose. So yeah, like a bit of that up his nostrils. That Vix um, just reminds me of lab sessions at uni. Mm. Ugh, breeding, there was breeding flies. And you'd put you'd put it there because the smell <laughs> was so bad. It was much better to breathe in the fumes of the Vix than anything else. <laughs> but yeah, just really, I think you can get them for like a quid. It's so so versatile, really. yeah. yeah. So for for all sorts, absolutely anything. I think that's one that you've got to have in a grooming kit somewhere. Must have. Yeah, definitely must a must have. Right, um, I'm on to this. So only downside. We've literally just used this on Titan's tail. So it is just a purple shampoo. It's not a horse one. It's a human one. Please don't tell me off for using a human one. It's really, really, really dark purple. Um, I You have to use the tiniest little bit. I think I've had this bottle for about two years and I've still got a good quarter, a quarter left. There's about here. About there. Yeah. Um, but it is just really, really super. I've not yet managed to turn his tail purple, which is a bonus. <laughs> um, and it does clean his tail the only problem is is it it's really heavily perfumed so it smells yeah, quite it strong smell a lot. um but it really really does the job as well so maybe let us know what your favorite purple shampoos are because i will be needing new one soon maybe in a year in about a year when i get to the end of the bottle um but yeah like I say, any purple shampoo really, this tends to do the job. Let us know what you think and what you think's best. Sorted, okay, we're on to last ones. Yes. Um, so last one is another smart grooming one. Um, You've just given me one of these I have to just try. brought you one of these I to try. I can't wait. Um, but we'll see that when we have, we have a bit of a platting competition later, later on. Oh, um, pressure's on. So this is Smart Grooming Platting Wax. It is well used. <laughs> um, oh, this stuff is absolutely brilliant. I didn't know what I was missing um, until I started waxing the tops of the manes before I actually platted it. So you don't get the flyaway hairs? No, no flyaway hairs. Um, you know when you always used to go watch people and think how did they get all the plaits so smooth? There was literally not a hair out of place. I've actually um, asked people if they cut the hairs. Yeah. Like that's I've literally asked that and I was like that doesn't make sense. But no, it's um it's brilliant. Again it's a lot of it's it's beeswax. Um I think it's got a bit of vitamin E in it as well. Hello, you're Hello. right. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Mama H over there, featured. <laughs> so, it does it does really yeah. do the job, doesn't it? Yeah, you'll have to wait and see. You have to wait and try yours next time you go platting. I can't wait. Cause my horses fidget a lot, so it might just help stick it all together. Mummy H is laughing because she knows your horses do more than fidget. <laughs> fidget. <laughs> Downward dog. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Try to get you. Platting wax. wax. Amber's got, got me some. Spoiled. <laughs> it's we very good stuff. Amber. You're all spoiled. We Amber did. spoiled. <laughs> she does. She got, yeah, you no got more, me a new plaque as well. No more flyaway hairs. Yeah. It's a nice looking plaque though. Bye. 
You've got less than another one. I know. Okay, do your last one. Yeah. Well, we're nearly done. Dressage lesson. Plucky toes. Right. So, my last one. I'm just trying to remember what I've done. My last one is this stuff. And we actually got... Gosh, this is a bit dirty. I got given it. I'm trying... Mum, can you remember who gave us this? Harriet. My saddler. Not the devil who won, like my saddler who does. <laughs> my bum! Shh! <laughs> Shh! 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 <laughs> okay, my saddler that does all my other le level work other than Davaku, Harriet Havers, the New York saddler. She gave me this to test out, and it is the natural herbal cream. It smells incredible. It's just a little it white smell cream. Really it smells really, really good. And obviously, it it? it's all natural. It's, natural herbal cream is a unique combination of herbal ingredients carefully selected and blended to feed and encourage healthy skin. Tea tree, aloe vera, comfrey, lavender. I think of a bits and bobs. But it's got all the good stuff in. And I actually had a horse last year who, while we were at camp actually, yeah. fell down a ditch. And under a hedge. <laughs> under a hedge that had just been recently cut and got a stick stuck in it. And he took a chunk out of his neck like that size and it was about that deep. And literally all the vet, vet did stitch it up. Stitches popped. It was too big. There wasn't enough skin. So the vet said, keep it clean, keep it moisturised. And we used this, and you know what? Everything grew, came back, and he didn't even have a scar. <laughs> bam, bam! I can't even tell that he'd done it. <laughs> <laughs> bam, bam, do you want to be featured? Come here, come here. Good boy. Oh, oh sorry. He his head on the table. <laughs> this is Bam Bam. I'm sorry. Bam, He's making, making noise. so much noise. He's making a racket. Good boy. But no, his coat, his skin grew back. There was there was a tiny you dent. Even see it at all, you could could you, you not couldn't even see. Really up close. No scar. He was black as well, so you'd expect a white <laughs> scar. And it all came back and did the job. And obviously that was a big healing. And we've still got half a pot left. And I just pop it on any little injuries, wounds, and they heal. So it Sorted. it helps. So that's that's our last one. Favorite of four. These favorite and four. Potions. Obviously we've mentioned other things. Let us know what your favourite lotion and potion is. Yeah, if you use any of the ones that we use or uh, recommendations for fly spray and what was the other one? Oh, uh, purple shampoo. Yes. Um, because I also have a grey. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to have to start bathing your grey. She has uh, a grey that's a bit hydrophobic at that. So <laughs> we do, like we, we're, almost, we're almost due baths now, most of the time, <laughs> when, when she's feeling in a good mood. Yeah. So yeah, purple shampoo and fly spray recommendations, please. Yes, and that's the last one for these lotions and potions on lotions and potions. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.